is very low. I don't know if this is going to be possible to tide this low. We'll have to see if the boat's not on the bottom. And we free float it. I think we might be stuck. <laughs> Maybe today isn't going to happen. Ah, how damp. Not too bad, only... Ah, not damp at all. We've got a slight leak just up here somewhere. So we've got to uh, keep an eye on that. So to keep putting the towel down. But it actually doesn't feel damp and it's definitely been a bit of water or rain, so... Hey, welcome to Misty. It's nice to be back. I Secretly I did come up for a little uh, peek the other day as well, but I've got to keep checking obviously every couple of weeks. It's in a pretty safe spot and I'm getting more comfortable with um, uh, the way it sort of all rolls in regards of just tires raising, watching sure that like the anchor and things don't clip the edge of the mooring and rip off and, <laughs> and all of that and just rain in general and, and stuff like that. So we're getting, I'm pretty confident and comfortable with the, with the way it is. I did bring a few things like some extra bungee just so I can string things up and replace things uh, just because they're getting a bit old uh, and just in the sun they wear out so quick. But all in all, turn this guy on, 13.2 so that's alright, it's been charging, you can see it's charging now. Shouldn't be a lot draining the battery really at the moment. Because I disconnected the fridge just because when I was uh, up here last, it's like, well, there's no point in keeping the fridge running. But it was a good test because I just left it running for pretty much a month and a half just to see if the battery would completely drain and and conk out. And it didn't. So we could uh, turn it back on now. We've actually got it connected to this battery again. And that's sitting at 13.1. So that's good. But there's really no need to uh, waste any battery power right now when we've got nothing to chill. But we'll change that soon. So we bought some extra fuel. The aim of the today was, um, I guess I'll, I'll, now that I'm sort of stuck on the bottom, so what happens is at very low tides, is basically the keel just rests in the sand on the bottom here. So I can't get out, probably not for like at least an hour, I'd say. But you know what, we've probably got an hour to just to hose down the boat, get all that dirt and mud, and if you can see every, every time I step everywhere, just like that, you can see how much mud is actually accumulated on it but you can't really see it until you're actually walking on it and you've got wet feet so good hose down we'll get the sails out and everything ready and by that stage hopefully we'll have enough water we can sneak out and now the aim of the game is today just to practice sailing and uh practice a few maneuvers and then um maybe if it's all right we'll head out through the bar but uh I'm not so nervous about the surf in this bar, but I am nervous about um, just the current. So we'll be fighting against the current on the way out, and hopefully we'll make sure we come in with the current on the way in. So hopefully that will mean the surf is not big both ways. And um, I don't think the surf has been down, it's sitting just under a metre as well, so it shouldn't be too bad on the incoming, so the incoming tide. But We'll cut a couple of laps if we can't get out there. I'd like to get out. I did bring uh, this rod up last time, which has got a big lure on it. So it'd be cool just to uh, troll that around and just cut some laps and just practice. It'd be nice to get the boat finally out into the ocean as well. I'd like to get out into the ocean and to start doing more ocean trips because the next one or two trips, I think I might just leave and start heading up the coast. But we've been waiting for the good weather, non-cyclone season, and a few other things, just with family and everything, just trying to arrange a time where I can actually commit that kind of time away from everyone. But then we'll get it further up the coast and we'll start seeing where we're actually gonna leave the boat eventually. We're gonna get it up the coast and we're gonna leave it up the coast and I can just keep making trips from there. And then we can just take it straight out to the islands and get further and further and further away. And then we can just keep going back. So the plan is there. Now we've just got to execute it. Sorry it's taken so long to get back on the boat. I'm dying to get back on the boat. But in any case, it's nice to be back. Look, floating caravan, how good is it? So I'm excited just to uh, take her out for a spin. Found the other wind channel. It's actually a little bit of a nicer one as well. This one's broken the, uh, the lock on that as well. So this one actually still locks into place, which is nice. Ooh. A little bit of uh, 
fishing over there off the side of that pontoon. Some fish hitting something. And it's starting to rain anyway. <laughs> ah, she looks a lot fresher. Are we actually floating yet? Look, we're starting to move away from the uh, wharf here, which means we are still on the bottom, but we're still, we've got a bit of movement now. So, I reckon we might be almost ready to sort of try and push out. Right, you can see, this actually makes a big difference. Look how brain spanking she looks. <laughs> she is pretty dirty. <laughs> Stuff everywhere. Yeah, my dirty feet already because <laughs> it's all wet but it looks like we can move back and forward now a little bit let's make sure the engine starts because it's going to be key unfortunately because it's only a small engine for a two-ton boat one of the issues is going through the bar if it's running out really fast then it don't have much power so which means a little bit of con not much control in not much uh, speed going through the bar which isn't ideal for bars, so that's like the major concern with this boat that I've got anyway. Just let it heat up while we're mucking around with this last line. Seems to be that we've got enough. Uh, What's the name? Water to move around to find out. <laughs> shallow but at least I know I can get out there at the moment in that depth as soon as I'm floating it means I can get out but geez I did definitely came up to 1.2 actually at the very corner of that canal so here oh, it's coming up again yeah yeah so this is this is the bit I remember being a bit of an issue so 1.6 1.7 as long as we can glide over here it'll get into some nice deep water you just got to get over this little bit
power going forward, huh? Just got to get out of this entrance and we'll be all right. <laughs> So that let's put it up Not too much just want to see how she reacts it might settle it down a bit I don't know let's fill the engine and just see how we're tracking 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 along here oh it's actually less stressful with the engine off maybe we will let the sail ride out I do believe we are sailing. <laughs> as nervous as it is. And I still want to head out a little bit, so I might pull it in just a little bit. Yeah. yeah. All right, we're learning, we're learning. We've got to sail up. We're traveling along. We uh, need to adjust those sails, but I'm just, uh, you know, just taking it out as it comes and just keeping it safe. It's what feels safe to me. I just got to admit, it would, it would seem pretty bumpy, but now that we're sailing, it actually seems a little less bumpy. And we're sort of turning away from the wind, maybe even just getting away still in that sort of semi shallow at the front of the bar. There's still a lot of water moving around. No, no, this seems very manageable all of a sudden. I don't know if it'll be manageable going back in the bar. That'll be interesting, but you know, you just got to commit, I guess, and, and learn as we go. But we are sailing. We are out on the ocean for the first time. I had all these ideas of getting good shots and all this, and because it's so lumpy, I've just been having to concentrate, you know. But this is about, this is what it was about. It was about just getting out here. I've got to commit at some point. Probably not the most ideal day to do it, but but I'm glad I'm doing it. I'm glad I risked getting the sail up because I was feeling very nervous just before, to be honest. But I've just got to get used to it because I'm just not used to what kind of, what amount of rocking is reasonable and what amount of, you know, like like wind is reasonable and, and things like that. And as much as I read about it, I can't learn it, especially on my boat, without just getting out here and doing it. So we'll practice a couple of turns. We'll go, we'll come around and then we'll go back that way for a bit and we'll see how that feels. And then um, I don't know if I'll get the main up today out here. I'm sure the hardcore sailors is laughing at me now, but hey, that's, you know, I'll get there. I'll get there. I'll get, I'll, once I get used to the boat a bit more, I'll see what's uh, possible for me and then and we'll go nuts yeah <laughs> but feel free to comment obviously I'll be just learning as I go <laughs> but yeah no cool well we'll try going that way I guess the time has come to <laughs> I don't know if we'll have enough speed to do like attack into the wind we can try Have freed that sheet completely, shouldn't I? Okay. Come on. Woo. Okay. That was a little bit better. Oh. Let's get 
around here. Come back around that way. And we're sailing back the other way again. <laughs> Whoa, barely. <laughs> oh no, here we go. <laughs> okay. Well, that's good to know. I sort of, uh, we set this up so there's a bit of tension on this side to keep the rudder to keep me on course. Maintained about yeah, between 30 to 60. And it did. It look I, I managed to muck around, I tried to get some photos, and uh, we managed to get the shot and the boat stayed course. Obviously uh, wind and conditions depending, but that was a success. But I guess we've had our fun. It doesn't look like our rod's gonna go off. The, the wind is actually it's at uh, about 30 k's an hour. So we haven't had any hits yet. The, the uh, water's starting to get clearer, but I think what we might do is we might turn around. So we'll sail back towards that direction and then we'll uh, kill that and put the motor out. Look, I'm feeling a lot more comfortable. I'm feeling infinitely more comfortable, in fact. <laughs> when I first got through the bar, I don't know. We'll see how that bar behaves and then we'll see if we are gonna eat our words. I wish I had the mainsail up now. Just that little bit of effort could have been actually sort of fun to have that one up. Here we go. Get it out quite a bit. This camera rocks around so much it's almost useless. So we'll have to sort something out there. But let's head back. Okay, we're going to start getting into that choppy zone soon again, so we might just uh, get this reel in. We didn't catch anything. <laughs> we need to get a bit further out. Uh, take that off. We need to get out into the zone a bit more, I think, with that. But I'd be confident next time. It's all uh, a work in progress. But there's no reason why that couldn't catch a fish. No different to trolling on any other boat. Going at about the right pace, and we got a bit of weed on there. But, ah, yelch. I need to trim that wire down a bit better. But, I think that will work. Start this guy up. There we go. Bit of assisted sailing. But we're in the seven meter mark now, and it really doesn't feel anywhere near as daunting. Obviously, we're going with the chop now as well. So that feels good. We'll add a little bit of pace in. And yeah, no, this is feeling very reasonable. Might as well get that in. Safety first. That way we can just concentrate on navigating the waves and the chop. Just in case it does get crazy choppy. I don't want to be not ready for it. Because it is getting pretty lumpy again. through there I reckon we get the sails up and we try and sail the rest of the way back Whew. probably should have left the motor running actually There's plenty of room right this very second but probably wasn't very good practice just not to do the running just so I have some control it's like a 
feels pretty safe at the moment, but yeah, next time I won't do that. This is cool though. There should be a decent amount of wind. Oh. Around onto the halyard. Make sure we go around the stays, the side stays. Locker in the place. Yeah. And before we do anything, we might actually just get the engine going again. Get this off. Get the back stay over there. Tighten it up a little bit again. And then, I think we are just about ready to get a sail up. should figure out a way to run all the lines back here. It would be handy. If we can kill this. Ah, nice. Yeah. Spinning around. Get that boom to switch sides and we are away. <laughs> ah, yelch. Just bang my leg on that though. That hurt. Now, I guess what's the next thing we could do? Get the uh, other sail up as well. Oh, look at all those birds getting harassed by the jet ski. All right. Watch we don't get a hit on the head in the process. Okay. Release our furler. And we're going to pull it out this side. This is the side we want it on. Woo! Okay, we should have held onto the furler, but anyway. And I should have put my wraps on first. Far out. I know, everyone, okay? Beginner. Let's just pull it in a bit. But, look at the pace we've got already. <laughs> there we go. Two wraps should be enough. But we are sailing. No engine. Oh, probably should have got the main sail up out there as well. But, uh, you know. Even more. See that's pretty tight now. Still could use the winch as well to winch it up even tighter. Let's give it a go with the winch as well.
No, awesome. Don't know if that's better or worse though, because I'm not really heading into the wind that much. So we'll let that out a bit. Not that much. about here <laughs> and we go back the other way. Try one thing. I want one more thing. I want to try. There. Okay. Is that it? No. And then I've got to lock the rudder like that. Is that right? Have we done what they said? No. I think that needs to work against it. So it needs to go back that way a little bit more. Have we stopped? I'm trying to practice heaving too, because I want to know how to stop the sucker. <laughs> I think I'm meant to have this sail. I think I should have had the rudder lock like that so this sail was still had a little bit of wind fill. Well, anyway, we'll practice that. Oh, hey, look, we sort of... <laughs> we definitely stopped, but I don't think we quite did it the way it was meant to. Maybe I'm meant to come right around and then lock the rudder in this side. So this sail's full and then that sail's... No, but where are we going here? I think the current's just taking us down there now. Well, in any case, we might drop the jib first, wind her up, and, uh, oh, yeah, we need to fix that rope. Nice tight roll on the way back, because we're going to roll it properly for today. A couple of wraps on that. So we'll just use that for now and then we'll worry about this main sail. Yeah, so look, obviously the aim of the game was just to get it out through the bar, just to sort of experiment with just being out there and seeing what the boat could handle and what's reasonable and what I feel comfortable with at this stage. Because, uh, yeah, I think I'm getting closer to sort of committing and uh, committing some time. We're almost past cyclone season, which is around April, but, you know, we might be able to squeeze it out a little earlier. But I want to start moving this boat up the coast. After, you know, a little bit of mucking around there, I felt a lot more comfortable and I'm pretty keen to get going now. So I reckon we bet look the difference between those two sails, like being up in just one up is major in that amount of wind because there's not as enough wind. Look, let's, let's actually just loosen that sheet. It's easier to experiment when you've only got one sail up, I'm finding, because I can, I get like a bit more of a better picture of how each one's behaving. See, because we've got a good gust now. And we're, not, we're starting to move along. Let's tighten it up a bit more. I think that is a slight increase. You can see at the top, we sort of got a... But look, we're starting to move along now. It's amazing once we actually do have a little bit of wind, the difference. So yeah, no, it very... It's very enjoyable once you get a bit of wind. It's just now I'm starting to really want the wind. Out there in all that chop, it wasn't very enjoyable, but 
If I'd just got the main sail up first out there, I reckon I would have probably had both sails up and it would have been cruising along and it would have made a big difference once I was past that choppy area. But geez, that choppy area is definitely something to be aware of because I just don't have any power. I just can't get anywhere fast enough to get through that choppy area. So I'm basically at the whim of the waves and I'm just getting buffeted around until hopefully it chills out. See, that gust is nice. It's moving me along nicely. How easy is it sailing with just the main up? It's great. Once it's up, it's not that hard to get up really, is it? And I guess the trick is when you're sort of single handing, it's just getting used to where all your ropes are, getting used to this, to, to all of the, you know, everything that has to happen. But it's really not that hard. It's just, you know, just got to be wary of it. But what we might do is pack up this main sail. So I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully this wind buff's working because otherwise we've got a whole lot of wind noise there and nothing, <laughs> nothing good usable. So we're going to turn up into the wind here. Just tighten that sheet right up. Look at that wind swinging around though. The next sailing video, I, I have confidence in saying that it could be quite epically big adventure but uh, we'll see. We might take the family out first for one little trip and then we'll start moving it up the coast and then they'll have to fly up. I hope you like a sailing video because this one's definitely all about sailing. Sorry if uh, you're expecting some fish, but uh, we've, been, we've had a lot of fishing up recently, so it's time to do Misty again and get her on the water. But we'll be spreading it out nicely. Variety. We want variety on our channel. We don't want to be one of those channels that just has the same thing over and over and over. So we're doing our best in that regards. Anyway, I better get this up while I'm facing in the wind. See you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>